What is up, everybody? This is Compound Interest Stock Guy today on the road. Today, we're going to be talking about Zenibus Global and updates in the market with them. I'm going to explain everything that's going on and I'll leave the links in the, the description so you guys can read it for yourself. And, uh, you know, this is just a summary of what's going on. I want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about. Buy or sell after research, due diligence, and you like the investments you're pursuing. Share the video with friends and family. If they're a Zenibus investor, if they're a cannabis investor, and they want to hear what's going on, share the video with friends and family. Uh, you know, I've got a lot of new uh, subscribers coming along, so I uh, welcome all the new subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, um, uh, leave a comment and tell me where you're from. Uh, that'd be awesome to hear where people are from uh, so I can learn more about you guys. Uh, and if you guys want to join my Discord group, I'll leave the link in the description. So uh, yeah, let's do this. So I'm just uh, driving through so you guys get the scenery. Uh, I'm a little tired, so I don't really want to show my face today. Uh, but yeah, so Zenibus just announced today some information on their updates of what's going on with the company. So first I'm gonna explain that because that's the earliest news and it's breaking. So, you know, very early news to the market. Just a few hours ago it happened. And I'll explain it to you guys. So, Zenibus, uh, Zena, Z-E-N-A in Canada. And I believe their ticker in America is Z-B-I-S-F. Unless they changed it, which I don't think they have on the OTC. They basically are saying that they have a lot of uh, different strains that are very high in THC that are coming out of uh, Athelville. So that's a great revelation. And uh, yeah, more uh, sales channel. You know, Reup is really their brand that's a discount brand. And uh, you know, at the dispensary, the people there all think it's great product. You know, it's a little bit lower THC, but the terpenes are great. Now, they don't say the same thing about Pure Sun Farms, VFF, or Aurora's Daily Special, or the OG uh, Stash. But the Reup has very good terpenes and it smokes good. The only real issue is it's just a little bit lower THC. But, uh, I mean, they were saying what they do is they add uh, Keef. Canna Farms uh, Vivo has Keef. So, you know and then you get just as high, but save a ton of money. I mean, it's selling very well across Canada. So they're doing a great job on Reup. And uh, they're gonna get into Ontario. I mean, they have Reup in pre-rolls, but they're selling it in 28 grams. That's what they also said. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's gonna be awesome for them. They're also gonna be doing the 510 threads so 510 threads is from c cell i mean they could have another brand but most likely it's from c cell tilt holdings and uh with the jupiter uh that's that's what uh you know tilray aurora and chronos and afria they all have the c cell cartridges for vapes and they're gonna have two more uh pax vapes and Pax Vapes are doing very well. One of their Pax Vapes is the number one Pax Vapes bestseller in Canada, in the BC Cannabis Store. I shouldn't say Canada, but in the BC Cannabis Store, which I, I really think is Canada because I mean, if people like it in BC, which it has such a long standing relationship with the cannabis plant, if they prefer that the most, then it's gotta be good product for a good price. So they're undercutting Afria, which is charging $65, and they're charging $40 for Pax Vapes. 
So they're also moving in the update, they're saying they're moving their 2000 kilogram extraction, uh, their extraction supplies, like the extraction machines to their Stellarton facility. And then they're gonna do, be able to do 3000 kilograms, I believe a month in extraction so right now they're set at a thousand kilograms so with that they're not having to pay the middleman with uh, Valens or Metafarm labs for their extraction services so that's uh, in the scheme of things when you know when they get a lot more sales which is coming down the pike uh, for global Xenobis global at uh, that's gonna really make them you know a big time player because they're just gonna add so much EBITDA so they're that's what they're talking about and uh, you know the two there's gonna be like a hybrid and a CBD new PAX vapes coming out as well they're talking about they have uh, very good deals with international bulk suppliers they're talking about something like a maximum 750 kilograms a month and then 250 kilograms for another party so I mean even if it's on the low end scale it sounds as though they're doing a minimum probably 400 to 500 kilograms since uh, you know this month I'm thinking uh, the quarter is gonna end June 30th so the guys on the on the CEO.ca they're thinking that there's uh, doing five thousand to seven thousand kilograms, but I'm not really so sure about that because I think that the international sales are just really just started to ramp up in the in the last like three to four weeks, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. You know. They're gonna have propagation sales on this quarter, so I mean, it. They're very well could be close to 5,000 kilograms in sales. Hexo sold 10,000, around 10,000, I think, and they made 22 million. So I think, uh, you know, I think if they're selling 5,000 kilograms, they're probably getting around 15 to 17 million and then you add another 15 to 20 million in propagation. So this quarter should be around anywhere from like 30 to 40 million. So on the conservative side, low 30s or 30 million and the high side, like 35 to 40 million. So yeah, that's the sounds of it. I mean, they have bulk parties in Canada that EBITDA is going to be very good. I mean, on 19 million in revenues last quarter, they did 2.4 million in EBITDA. So I think on 30 million, they should be up to like six to, to 10 million in EBITDA. Depending how close they are to the 40 million threshold, they're also, you know, it's just, it just sounds as though with the, the beverages as well, those seem to be, I think they're probably going to come out later in August and September and uh, yeah I mean just things are just rolling along with the edibles as well they're gonna have the edibles probably in September probably like they're gonna start producing it sounded uh, around July so I mean they're just getting to be very uh, a well-rounded player you know uh, a big bulk flower player a big now they're getting revenues internationally and they're getting revenues from their vapes they're getting money from pre-rolls they're getting money from their premium brand flower in the mass day the ultra sour and uh, you know Durga Mata and you know they're also getting some revenues from shoppers drug mart I think shoppers drug mart sales are going up so and they have the the capsules as well they also say in the other term sheet with the pharmaco which is owned by agriflora that deal 
starting in 2021 is set for 500 kilograms minimum a year so that'll help them out but it sounds as though they're very busy talking to international you know around the globe to get to get their sales really pumping and they're they're growing a lot the langley harvest sounded pretty good they didn't say how much they were growing but the sounds of it it sounds as though they're growing about 5000 kilograms a month that's that's my estimation so it seems as though they're growing like 15 you know they probably this quarter they grew around 15000 kilograms last quarter i believe they were around 11000 kilograms so yeah, that's pretty much what's up. I mean, uh, I'm probably missing a few things, but the beverages, the vapes, and the international sales is really, uh, uh, you know, it's really bumping up their sales. And, you know, the beverages aren't ready yet, but the edibles will be, you know, they'll both be coming online. But the, the next is just basically Ontario needs to get more stores and that's going to really help them out because they're going to have a lot of product to sell in Ontario so that's going to make them a lot of money so you know I I say it on ceo.ca if you want to follow me on zenaceo.ca there's a lot of people uh, following that uh, board and uh, yeah I mean basically I talk a lot about there but basically they're you know, you can't find a company for 60 million market cap that's set to do over 100 million in revenue for the year and, uh, you know, EBITDA of anywhere from like 15 to 20 million. You know, it, it could be higher EBITDA levels. So who knows? But that's definitely very nice. You're not going to find that in any other player in the market. So, Zena is not going to stay at 15 cents. Um, it really wouldn't surprise me if they snatched a deal with a BMO or another bank to, to give them, you know, 50 to 100 million in uh, bank financing. So, you know, that would really bump up their cash position. It, you know, when uh, banks start seeing their EBITDA levels really rise, I mean, there was. Uh, EBITDA covenants with Aurora with the banks and they never met them so you know Xenobis is just coming out of the woodworks and they're creating EBITDA so that is what's up I uh, keep compounding your info listen to my lingo if you're not a subscriber subscribe I bring the hottest content uh, smooth information concise fast to the point in short little videos uh, giving you the download on Commodities, cannabis, S&P 500 companies, uh, you know, uh, Forex and, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting really well rounded. So we're going to take this channel to the next level. I'm just, uh, I'm just on the ground floor and I'm going to be launching. So I uh, want all my uh, viewers and subscribers to, to come with me and we're going to make a great journey. So anyways, uh, I'm, I'm getting a hat made and uh it'll be out in a week or so so i'm gonna wear that hat so anyways shaka capice i'm out